with another product review from something that was sent to me through Thomason. Uh, this is a mobile phone screen magnifier. I feel really bad that I don't know a brand on this because there's literally no brand literally anywhere on this packaging. I want to give credit where credit is due, but um, even through the campaign, they didn't give me a listing to a specific Amazon listing. There's nothing that I can find. I see several on there that are made by different brands that look just like this one, but I don't want to give credit to the wrong company. So I guess I'm just going to post this and hope for the best. Um, I will edit in the link later if I post this and they reach out to me and give me the correction for what brand it is because I feel really bad that I don't know. Um, I tried to search by their username on Thomason on Amazon and nothing comes up. So I was like, huh, but I see several listings that look identical to this one. They're all different price points. They're all different brands. They look identical. They function identically. So I'm like, this is really strange to me. But regardless, I did open this and play around with it a bit. And it's so simple, but it's so genius in the way that it works. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Well, let me read the product description on the back. So, mobile phone screen is too small. Your eyes will be very tired if watching video for a long time. Using the mobile phone screen magnifier, you can zoom in on your phone screen about three times, stay away from the radiation from the blue light of your phone, and protecting your eyesight. Screen using acrylic Fresnel plane amplification technique, suitable for all sizes mobile phone. Lens hood can block foreign light interference, watch movies of your mobile phone, and bring you the 3D cinema effect. Folding design, easy to carry. Can be used on trains or airplanes, can be used in the room, can be used during tra travel, can be used in the lounge area cafe. It has some instructions for how to set this baby up. Let me go see what those messages were right now, because otherwise it's going to distract me the whole video. I'll be right back. It was a nothing message after all that. So, okay, let me show you how this works. I need a flat surface to set it up on properly, but I will just take it out of the box first and then demonstrate it after in a separate clip. Like, it comes with the two pieces. This is the hood, which feels like cardstock. It's so simple. It, like, literally feels like a manila envelope in its construction, but this just like lays over it, I guess like that, uh, this would be where your projector is, this is where your phone is, is back here. I actually didn't set it up that way uh, previously, but that's okay. But the actual magnifier is this bad boy right here, which is all folded up flat right now, but I mean this is your screen, which you can see does in fact magnify quite a bit. <laughs> I was looking at the screen through the thing. I don't know how ridiculous I probably looked, but that's okay. But um, it does have that cool, slightly ribbed texture on it that you tend to see on like kids' toys where it's got the magnifying effect in it, or in um, those really special edition Blu-rays that have like the, you tilt it a different way and it like moves. It's kind of like that. I don't know what that technique is called. I don't think it's what they called it on there, but it feels like that. But it's round, I'm like, instead of in lines. I'm like, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. But regardless, it just lays flat ultimately this way. And then you set up this guy right here. Where's the little... There's a prop right here that you fold up that goes behind your screen. Something like that. That'll hold it up when you have it on a flat surface. You don't have to hold it, obviously. I will show it actually in action after I finish talking about it. And then this end that holds your phone is like same kind of idea. Is it this way? It's one of these two ways. No, nah, I think it's the other way. Well, maybe it's like that, actually. It's either like this or it's... When it's actually proper... No, nah, I think it's that way. When it's properly set up, it makes much more sense. But regardless, your phone will rest back here. You can use any size phone with it. Um, I thought of an alternate use. 
couple of them. I mean, like, if you have a Nintendo Switch and don't want to hook it up to the TV, just stick the screen against that and use your controllers it's magnified without actually hooking it to a TV. Or, if you want to magnify, like, a handheld, I think it could feasibly work for that. I haven't tried it hands-on yet, but I could see where it's got some potential for it. So I'm like, this could feasibly change the way I film gameplay videos, just saying, for the um, DS, but regardless, let me go set this up and show it to you in action with video, um, just because I'm so impressed with, like I said, it's so simple that it's genius in its simplicity and then just folds totally freaking flat, takes up like virtually no room, you can slide it into basically nothing inside of your bag. It takes up no room. I'm so impressed with that, but like I said, let me go show you how this works. Okay, so I'm going to show you the setup from the side here. The phone propped up in the back. There's the screen. Looks kind of cool. Um, I'm just going to use, since it's 4th of July, some royalty-free, copyright-free video of some fireworks. Um, hopefully it'll... okay. Yeah, check that out. Magnifies it pretty well, huh? What's that at the top? Oh, suggest a video. I mean, it's hard to get it clearly with my camera here, but it's like much clearer in person, I swear to you. It's really hard to get a good representation here. Oh, let's see if I lay down. Oh yeah, that helps a lot. Yeah, check it out. Pretty cool, I think anyway. So I could go ahead and put on that um, hood to block out the residual light around it, although I don't think it really makes that big of a difference, but maybe. But yeah, it magnifies pretty well. I mean, it's hard to tell with that circle in the middle just because of the nature of fireworks with how all it look when it's like off to a side or something. Let's. I'm just holding my <laughs> camera here. Let's try to do the thing. If it's off to the side, does it change? It still magnifies. It just is kind of out of range for the center of it. Okay, I got it now. It's like once it's out of that circle, it's like yeah, you kind of lose the edge of what you're looking at. Okay. Makes sense. But yeah, I like it. I like it quite a bit. Let me see if I can find anything else that is royalty free that's a little clearer with more than just a black background to judge by. But I thought this would be thematically appropriate is why I chose it as the first one. I'm probably pushing my luck with this one because it's definitely not royalty free or copyright free, but it's a remix. So maybe I can show just a short clip of it just to show clearness wise on something with crisp edges. You know, just a thought. Let's see. How is it looking? Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? I think it's pretty good anyway. Let's uh, get back here. I mean, yeah, it's still in the middle. Yeah, I'm intentionally doing this in a way that does not have the audio, because otherwise it would for sure get flagged, but, um... The weirder thing is how, on this, it doesn't look like it fills the screen, but to the eye, it does. It's really hard to accurately capture it on a video how it looks in real life. I don't know how exactly to do that, but it does give a very crisp good image. Okay, so I was gonna show with the hood on it, but really it didn't seem like it did anything, if I'm being honest, with the hood on. I mean, I know it says it like blocks out residual light. Maybe it's because I was in a dimly lit room to start with. I don't know, but um, I would view it, I think, more as like a privacy thing. If you were using it on the tray table of a plane, that would make more sense to me to have that on. But for just like normal everyday use at home, I, I don't really necessarily see the benefit unless you have like a dimmer screen to where you need to help block out some of that light. In that case, you know, very simple solution for a very basic problem. 
but otherwise it works totally fine without putting that on it. And like I said, for me, I didn't see enough of a difference to really justify filming that. So anyways, I'm pleasantly surprised for this. I would highly recommend it, especially if you were somebody who was potentially considering getting a tablet or something, just to have a bigger screen to view videos on without, you know, um, much of a need for it for anything else. I think this would be a much cheaper alternative that would do the same thing for you without needing to spend hundreds of dollars. Instead, you spend like 20-ish, depending on which brand you go with. Spend a little more, you get the ones with the speakers built into the bottom, and now you basically have your own little mini at-home theater to view bigger videos from your phone on. That's pretty cool. I'm going to be quite frank with you. I was very skeptical of the claims that this thing works. I was like, yeah, sure. Especially when I first opened it and looked at the type of screen, I was like, yeah, sure, that'll do the thing. I thought it was going to be all distorted and wonky looking, but I am so pleasantly surprised. And I feel like the video clips I took totally don't even do full justice to how good it actually looks in person. I think part of the little lines on the screen involve how the light refracts off your eyes. So it makes sense that a camera lens isn't going to pick that up the same way that the human eyeball does. But I am really impressed with how crisp and clear everything is. There's no color distortion. It doesn't blur or muddy the edges. I mean... Like I said, part of it was just my trying to film it. It's hard to film it accurately because the camera doesn't get it 100% accurate. Which makes me sad, because this thing's actually really cool. I'm just like, dang, I really didn't expect it to be that cool. But I'm like, dude, this is like my new favorite toy now, I think. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I am really stoked that I got to get this for free. I mean, wow, thank you to... With, I still feel bad that I don't know what brand makes it. it just, I really hope they reach out to me and tell me so I can include it down below and credit the correct company, you know? Um, but this thing is really cool. I do highly recommend it. Um, if you see one like it that's even similar, I think, you know, it's totally worth the little splurge to have such an upgrade in your viewing uh, pleasure while you're watching things from your phone. It is really cool, and like I said, it folds down so flat that it fits in like virtually any bag that you would put, say, a laptop in or anything, or feasibly like a tablet. I think a tablet might be a little too big to work with this, but a phone of any size, doesn't matter, would totally work. I played with a few different ones. I didn't show them all on camera, but I did play with like my sister's. I played with mine. I used my mom. Like, they're all different sizes, different brands. I used my iPod. They just... They all work. Actually, surprisingly, I couldn't film it because it's what I film with, but the iPod actually looked the best on it. And it's the smallest of the bunch. I was like, who knew? Who knew? But yeah, this thing is really cool. I definitely recommend it to you guys. I really didn't expect that it was going to be that awesome, but it really is. So anyways, that's it for this one. So as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and Give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, bye-bye.